I feel like Naomi Campbell is definitely someone who just taught me how to, not even so much like runway walk, but she just taught me how to like hold myself as a human being. And do you feel like you're living your best life? Yeah, I definitely like, I, I'm doing what I love. Mm -hmm. And that's something I don't think that everybody can say. So I guess like, I'm just gonna jump in straight away and um, ask about your, your show, Small World. During this time, during this like the whole COVID and pandemic, I'm, I was doing a stage show five nights a week before all the shutdowns. It's always been a desire of mine to have like, to be able to do it myself and to put like my own production into it and tackle like my own creative vision. There's no better time than any. I already had it up my sleeve and I'm just super excited for everyone to see the Smalls World show. And one thing actually that you know, made me a, a really big fan of yours. Um, when I was watching RuPaul's Drag Race, um, was speaking about uh, being mixed race and the difficulties, I guess, of, of navigating that. I grew up in like a very multicultural family with two white parents, but I had like other black siblings. I had um, Iranian siblings, Latino siblings. Like I was never gonna judge someone based on how they look because no one looks like I mean, like, no one looks like us. Just because I didn't necessarily grow up with the exact same experience as someone does not equate, like, I don't have the same struggle. Like, Black is something that you live with. It's something that you experience. You don't just, like, hang it up. We kind of always talk about, like, identity-based questions um, on Days Beauty. So one thing that we specifically ask people um, is, when did you first become aware of your identity? I have actually a story about it. Okay. Um, when I was in sixth grade, I remember there was this boy who was older than me and he was talking to like a teacher's assistant at uh, PE, like physical education. Mm -hmm. And I could hear them talking about me, but I didn't necessarily know what they were saying. And then like they, they yelled my name and I turned around and I had my hands on my hip and I like pivoted out. And then he was like, see, that's not normal. And I just remember being like, oh shit, there must be something different about me. And I feel like ever since then, I've just kind of like been aware that I was different, but it never like, I never saw it as a crutch or something to be ashamed of. I just was like, cause I actually really hated that guy. So I was just happy I was nothing like him. I think that being different and being not like the others. It's like something that you can get really wrapped up in when you're younger. I was, I'm such a, like a product of the internet and I'm such a child of the, the internet. And I'm so thankful for that because it really got to show me that there were like other people out there. Just knowing that it's like these kids who are pointing you out and PE are not the future. Okay, we're gonna do the real fun bit now and talk through some five pop culture moments that you picked out. Naomi Campbell arriving to community service in Kitsuai. This is a moment for her that she knew was going to be super talked about, super televised, um, but you weren't going to catch her slipping and you have to respect the doll for that. I feel like Naomi Campbell is definitely someone who just taught me how to, not even so much like runway walk, but she just taught me how to like hold myself as a human being. And I think that basketball players actually also taught me how to walk and like carry myself as um, like carry myself I guess like more as a man but like basketball players are like very lanky and tall and gangly like me they have like a certain confidence that they can really channel and um, I feel like Naomi Campbell is also in that realm this is Christian Dior by John Galliano okay so talk me through this makeup by the amazing Pat McGrath obviously yeah John Galliano for Dior is probably my favorite time and fashion for sure mm -hmm. um like pushing the envelope with concept and shape and beauty and i think that his relationship with pat mcgrath during this time was just so powerful um i remember that this was like the makeup trend style that like i remember flipping through a magazine and being like wow i really want to look like her uh, i'm such a huge sasha fan she really is someone who made me look at drag and this profession that i signed up for completely different um seeing someone do it so personalized and so custom and so different from what we've seen in the past oh my gosh this is my 
bestie for life. <laughs> um, definitely an iconic beauty moment was when Kim Chi Chic Beauty released her cosmetics brand. I'm super honored to be the first drag queen on drag queen collaboration that we've seen in the beauty world. The Kim Chi Chic and Naomi Smalls Two Queens One Desert collection is now live at kimchichicbeauty.com. <laughs> Get that plexus, get it in. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was so natural to say though. Know. <laughs> yeah, it's also available on iTunes. <laughs> <laughs> so everyone needs a best friend. Like everyone needs their like core group of friends. And I think that the family that you get to make for yourself is sometimes better than your actual family. If you find your team and you find those people that write for you, there's nothing better than that. Agree. Period. Ha, 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 ha.